Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and to our brand new FIFA 22 video. This is Leo here bringing you another special player, be another squad foundations here on the channel today. And we had um, Ivan Cavaleiro first and now it is the turn of Max Lowe, guys. The left back from, what's Not Nottingham Forest? Yeah, Nottingham Forest. If that is how you pronounce it, gets himself an incredible left back card. And this is a special card because there's not that many good left backs from, uh, you know, from England. I know you got Luke Shaw and I'm probably forgetting somebody else. But from the left back department on the English side, you don't have that many options. So this Max Lowe does come in a clutch time at the game. Especially because, like I said, you don't got enough uh, left backs that are for England. So if you need a link to Joe Gomez, uh, Beckham, etc. Well, Beckham, you can't really link him because he's a right mid player. But Gerard, etc. Definitely low might be a great option for you. And that is, oh my goodness, to get out of here. What are you doing showing up in this guy's review, guys? But like I was saying, it's a very usable card. And that's why we're reviewing him today. He's 5'9", high medium, left footed, 3 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot. And you get into the in-game stats and they look phenomenal. I'm going to go ahead after doing this intro, buy an anchor, apply an anchor on him, increase that pace of defending and physicality a little bit just so he can be boosted in the important stats for a left back. But he does have the pace, guys. 89 acceleration, 91 sprint speed. You like to see that, guys. He should feel pretty fast on the pitch, especially because he is... 5'9", so he's not gonna, he shouldn't feel stocky, especially because he does have good agility and good balance. Uh, the shooting of 60 is ter terrible, I'm not gonna lie, but he does have 81 shot power. If we do score a goal, I'll probably end the review there and retire because that's gonna be an ultimate achievement. Onto the passing of 76, though, he does have decent passing, good short passing, good long passing right there. We'll try to get an assist or two with this low card. We're going to be testing out the offensive side and defensive side as well. Dribbling of 85, guys, phenomenal. 86 ball control, 87 dribbling. The good reactions as well at 81. The composure is low, but, I mean, what can we do, guys? We can't have the perfect card. Onto the defending of 81. 87 standing tackle is very promising, man. If I press circle, he should be able to win that tackle and get the ball back for my side. Physicality of 78, it is all right. 82 stamina should last through the whole game. Strength and aggression will get Boosted with an anchor chemistry style once I apply it. And player traits is speed dribbler. Guys, I'm so excited to try out Max Low. Is he worth putting in your starting side? Is he not? I know a lot of people are selling them teams, going untradeable because of the Black Friday market crash. So I'm actually kind of glad that EA released this card. So let's get on to the gameplay portion of the review and see if this card is worth it. All right, guys, game number one for Low. Let's see the pace. Let's see the pace. Oh my goodness, guys. He is fast. He's out running Mbabu right there. Oh, nice dribbling, guys. He does have good decent shoot. Oh, yeah, yeah. He did the wrong skill move. I thought he was going to do the spin right there. But on ball, he feels pretty silky, man. Oh my goodness, great dribbling display, great dribbling display by Max. I was a little bit quiet because I was eating, but wow, man. So far, the standouts on this card has to be the dribbling. I'm trying to do a spin move, but he's just not, he's not executing it. Let's go, man. I'm running Salah, guys. It feels so fast. Nice, nice balance, nice balance. Ah, yeah, yeah, right there, guys. That's the strength right there. Should have held him off. Let's go. What a great standing tackle right there from low. Great double team with Alan. Let's go, Max Low. Let's go. Low versus Salah. Low versus Salah. There we go. What a great standing tackle. And you can notice the pace right there, keeping up with, uh, uh, is that Salah or, I think that's Sané, man, I, I don't even know, guys, I am lost, ah, that is Sané, guys, hey, it's still a 90 plus pace player. So, guys, we were down 3-1, and then I scored, uh, I believe, three goals in a row, my opponent rage quit. So we only got quite a few highlights with uh, Max Lowe, not as many as I would have thought. But we're definitely going to be playing a second game. He, had, he did get that tackle on Sané. I thought this whole game we were playing Salah, but whatever, guys. I'm just, I gotta, 
I don't know, I gotta wake up or something. He did win two possessions, so you love to see it. And his dribbling is fantastic up the side. You see on the side, on the left side, he was going up a lot. So if you do like attacking left backs, this might be an option for you. But let's go on to game number two and see if he can keep up his performance. All right, come on, guys. Game number two for low. Fantastic. Again. Again, just dispatching, man. Oh. I'm with Max Low. That's what I'm talking about, guys. I have switched Max Low. Oh my goodness. What did he do? There we go. Another great interception. Guys, the, ga the game's broken right now. But like I was saying, I have switched him to center back because my opponent's not really attacking on this uh, side. So I just want to see his defensive abilities. Two uh, great interceptions right there. Good stuff, Low. Almost not on low, not on low, guys. Too fast. Great defensive awareness right there. Great standing tackle. Unfortunate bounce. Oh man, this game's not. Uh, this game's not going my way right now. But we are winning. Great standing tackle by Max Low. It wasn't the player. It's the gameplay. Let's go on to the second half. Great, great interception right there from low, man. If he doesn't get that, it's a goal for him. Oh, se viene. So, guys, that concludes this Max Low Squad Foundations player review. And I got to tell you, this guy is a solid left back. I wish my opponents would have attacked more on his side. But they were all central, man. They were all central attacking. And that's why in the second game, I switched him to center back. Just to test out that defending, guys, because I do want to give you both aspects of the pitch. I did give you heavy offensive clips with max low because i wanted to show you how good he was especially with the high medium work race you know he's gonna pull up if you don't put any instructions set on him and uh definitely he was uh definitely making some crazy runs some good uh contributions to the attack so you love to see it guys three star three star is unfortunate i'm not really a big fan of that especially if i want my left back or right back to attack but the big pros on the card obviously the 90 pace 89 acceleration 91 sprint speed and as i'm talking about this I completely forgot to put an anchor. I cannot believe I completed. I played him on basic, guys. I played him on basic, and probably that's why he was really good attacking because the dribbling, the ball control, the agility goes up, the passing goes up, and a little bit of everything does as well. And that's why he was such a good left back attacking boys. But now I regret not putting an anchor on him. I cannot believe I forgot it, guys. Like I said, I'm gonna push this video and go sleep or something because I definitely need to wake up. But reactions of 81, really good as a center back. He played fantastic. I would not play him as a center back. But like I said, I did play him in that position just to test out his defensive abilities. Strength and aggression does need a little bit of a boost. And that's why I wanted to put the anchor and I just completely forgot. Jumping uh, is also really good. I noticed that he won a couple of headers off a corner. Even though he is 5'9", like you see on the screen. Uh, definitely uh, from the jumping department, he is really good. Meta rating, probably an 8 out of 10. Final rating, uh, an 8 out of 10 as well. He's definitely the best left back in, uh, you know, from England for sure. I think he's definitely better than Luke Shaw. And actually, let me go check real quick now that uh, we have a little bit of time here since I'm not doing the usual outro for the review because I don't have my computer. Well, you have Ashley Cole. Obviously, Ashley Cole is better, but he's definitely the best option for an English side if you can't afford Cole. Again, this is a free card, guys. You only need eight victories. Really easy stuff for uh, to get max low but anyways i will conclude today's review hopefully helped you out in deciding whether you want to get this card or not and you enjoyed this review before i let you guys want to say thank you so much for your support on instagram and youtube lately i have been killing it with the support and i love seeing that guys so please take a second out of your day like this video subscribe to the channel and expect more reviews tomorrow team of the week and hopefully some wants to watch upgrades are going to be out so stay tuned guys this is leo i bid you goodbye and good night